Hey, this is Lauren from Purple Kiwi. Just started a new channel. This is gonna be After Effects tutorials. I'm really excited about it and uh, I think we're gonna have a ton of fun. Anyway, so this is what we're making today. A, uh, a simple text animation with a reflection. So let's get into it. First, let's just hit that little icon there to make a new composition and uh, let's call it main comp or main whatever. It only needs to be like five seconds, not very long at all. I'm just gonna turn my transparency grid off and uh, to get a new solid, just go ahead and hit Command Y on your keyboard if you got a Mac. I really, uh, just to make it look better, I'm gonna stick a ramp on there and to, uh, just to make it look a little better, I like the radial ramp. Put a darker purple, cause I mean, come on, it's purple kiwi. But you can pick whatever color that you want, really. I mean, really try and make it make it look different on purpose. So um, to just uh, learn more about what the thing can do. Anyway, so pick your colors and pick where your color starts and where it ends. The farther out you drag them, you see that the colors are changing. Notice that I'm like zooming in and zooming out like crazy. If you scroll anywhere within the composition window, that's going to... Um, that's going to get you uh, where you're zooming in and zooming out. Go ahead and hit uh, Command T to get some text up here and just type in, you know, whatever it is you're trying to make and click back to your mouse button. Over here on the align window, we can line up our text in the exact center of the window. Then go ahead and make a pre composition out of the text. And the reason that we're doing this is so that whenever we make a change to the text, like if you want to change the word or whatever, it'll affect the reflection and the text composition. So, you know, so that way you're not doubling up on work or having to, or losing your keyframes or whatever. So yeah, just go ahead, pre-comp it. I'm going to name my comp text and uh, pretty self-explanatory. Open it up and add a, a scale animation to this. You I'm going to go down and under the animator one that I added, it, it, it popped up the animator one. Go down to to open up advanced. Go uh, change to from percentage to index, and then we're gonna change um, you know the letters to words. So so that way. The animation's looking how we want. Then down here at the bottom, hit put the scale to zero. So we see our words disappeared, and that's because we're going to try to get them to animate on. So up there under the range selector one, put a keyframe on start, and then uh, it's zero. And then notice we put our playhead down. See, notice there it says one end because there's one word. So um, we're just going to put a keyframe later for one so that way it reveals one word that's that's pretty much what's happening here so when we play it back that's what it looks like and uh, right now we've just got linear keyframes uh, good enough but I like my movement to be a little bit more interesting so I like to use the graph editor so first select your keyframes then go up and click this little icon here then select your keyframes again just you know draw in the box around them drag and hold and then you'll notice down here on the bottom, we've got a lot of different buttons, easy ease, ease in, ease out, um, convert it back to linear. Really, it's just telling it what type of keyframe, what type of movement that you want. But uh, I'm going for the easy ease and then changing up the movement manually. So um, I'm, you can just grab the little handle there and that changes the speed. Notice the, the, the way that the uh, graph arcs determines how fast the movement goes. You can drag the box out if you want the whole animation to take longer or shorter. Uh, and just, you know, play around with the handles in the box so that way you get a movement and a motion that you really like. I'll go back to the main composition, duplicate that text layer, rename the other one Reflection by hitting Enter. Then if you hit S, you can pop up the, bring up the, the scale value and go ahead and type on the right value for scale negative 100 and uh, oh it looks like it changed both values so 
uncheck the uniform scaling and make sure the left value is positive 100 and the right value is negative 100, then you can go ahead and drag down your uh, reflection text or hit the bottom arrow key to make it to make it go down however far you want. Uh, and see the because we have the text in a pre-composition, the reflection is doing the same exact is going to keep doing the same exact thing. I mean, I guess you could do that with layers too and keyframes, but whatever. It's going to help us down the line. So now for the reflection, let's add a linear wipe to this whole thing on the reflection. And first thing that we're going to do is make the ang wipe angle 180. Oh, I accidentally created a new layer and put it on that. So if you accidentally made a new layer too, delete that. Make sure you have reflection layer selected first then go over there and add your linear wipe to your reflection. And again, wipe angle 180 degrees and put down the transition completion until you can see at least part of your word. Um, your number might be different than mine depending on where your stuff is at. Anyways, but I like mine to show about half the word, maybe a little bit more. So I'm going to set it to about 50 and then just feather it out so you can see how the reflection is fading as it as it as you go down yeah just make it an even number 55 and feather it up to 150 okay so next thing to do to make the real reflection look even better uh, put a Gaussian blur on it and just bump up the blurry blurriness until you like it knock down the opacity you can bring up the opacity by having the reflection layer selected and then hitting T just side note there I'm using a lot of keyboard shortcuts and I'll put a, a description in the link below to show you to list out some keyboard shortcuts that would be good to know um, from my blog let's talk digital arts so anyways it's looking pretty good so far we've got our reflection we've got our text I think Next, we should knock down the text a little bit farther just so the the and the at um, isn't touching each other. Next, we'll make the text actually transition off. So if we go into the text layer, put a use the ellipse tool to put a ellipse around your text. Uh, make sure you're not making a shape layer by having nothing selected. So select your text and then draw an ellipse around it so that way it's a mask and not a shape and double click uh, click on the box to kind of move it around so it's not um, cutting off any of your text or anything like that then what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate this mask so put a put a keyframe there so it's so it's we can see the whole word and then move your playhead down the line and drag your mask off to the right hold if you hold shift it'll um, keep everything like on a straight line. So hold down shift while you're dragging so that way it just goes off on a straight line and not like on some weird slight angle. And then what we can do is feather up the mask uh, so that way the edges don't look so rough and hard. So it's just more of a smooth transition. And uh, there you go. We got a nice transition off and when we go back to the main composition we see, watch our animation from the beginning. We've got the text animation coming up and the text and the reflection. And then because we have the text in the pre-comp, the one mask is going to take off both, both the reflection and the text. So uh, there it is, not too complicated. If I lost you somewhere down the line or you've got a question, totally feel free to comment, let me know, tweet at me, at Kiwi Tuts. I'm going to be trying to make a lot more of these videos, so subscribe, comment, all that stuff, and, uh, you know, if you've got something that you're dying to know how to do, let me know that too.